So the first retreat I went on, I came with this question for Jesus. Are you the loving and personal God that everyone has told me about? Because I had faith my whole life, but I never connected that God loved me and was someone who actually cared about my life. And in the moment, I felt this presence of love like I've never felt before. And it filled me up and I, I realized, yeah, like God is real because love is real. And He's showing me right now that love for the first time. And so I left that retreat with this phrase that Jesus has always been with me and He will always be with me. But I noticed I needed help because my whole life, if He was always with me, but I never saw Him, I needed people to help me to discover His presence. And that's what I received through the formations at the Newman Center. I began to have a new vision on life, to see where God's hand was behind it. I began to have new desires to seek Him out in my studies, in my work, with my friends. And then my senior year, I was asked or given the opportunity to be a volunteer missionary. And I didn't want to be one because I was shy and I was timid. So I thought I couldn't be one. And then also I didn't want to give up my pursuit of art, but I did take that step. I said yes to the Lord, to the volunteer year, only because everyone around me was saying, you can do it. <laughs> and I noticed in that volunteer year, like I can't really explain it, but something in my heart broke open. And I started becoming a person that I always felt was in me, but I didn't know how to be that person. So through all the service we were doing, through the constant prayer life, through the community, like having authentic and real Christian relationships, all of that started forming within me a new identity, a new relationship with myself, with others, with the world that I just started growing and flourishing and flourishing. And I started seeing these new talents that I didn't know I had coming out as I was serving. And so it was in that context of serving and volunteering and working so much in the mission that I, I had to ask the Lord the question, what do you want for my life? And I, I realized, well, if I'm growing so much in this environment, it must be that He wants me to dedicate my whole life to Him. And so I needed those years and I needed the encouragement of so many people to take that first step for then the Lord to reveal in my heart why He created me and where He wants me to serve Him the rest of my life.